Anna Quinlan is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist and New York Times bestselling author, and she's written a new book called Every Last One. Anna, thanks for joining us today here at Borders. You're welcome. So let's talk about this particular book that, that, that you've just written. Where did you get the idea for this book? Because it's really a rich, powerful story. I always begin by thinking about a, a kind of a theme. Um, and in this case, it was about the illusion of, of safety and security. You know, we, we put our kids in car seats, and we have childproof caps, and we have someone to tell us what toys to take away from them because they might swallow them. And it gives us the illusion that we can keep them safe 24-7. And I think any parent knows that's not true. And as I began to think about that, a family started to take shape in my mind, a family that, that seems to have all of the small cracks um, that any family has in, a, in its facade of perfection, um, but that eventually will face a, a, a real a real moment of truth um, while I guess they're all looking the other way. There's an event in, in the story of, I think, unimaginable violence that occurs. Was that difficult to write that? You know, I really thought that that was going to be just the worst. I, I, I mean, my sons, who are both writers, can tell you that as I was edging up to it, I kept doing everything possible not to write it not to write the scene, not to write the chapter. Um, I kept saying, I, I don't want to do this. They kept saying, you know, Mom, just get it over with. It turned out that that wasn't the hard part. The hard part was afterwards, mm -hmm. which, of course, is part of the point of the book, that when bad things happen to us, it's not the bad things. It's the living with an amended life afterwards. And, and that really was the case, that it was much more difficult for me to write um, the second half of this novel than to write the first half of it. So did you know what the main character there, that, that it's told through Mary Beth, did you know how it was going to end when, when you started writing it for yeah, Mary Beth? I did. I did. But the trick of the matter is, um, that, that part of the illusion of, of safety in parenthood and when it shattered is that you don't see it coming. Um, if you have seen it coming, then you're a bad parent and you haven't done anything about it. So the trick of this was that, that I think events take place in this book that when they happen, you say to yourself, oh my God, I didn't see that coming, but of course. If you don't say, but of course, then you've written a book about something where the reader says, oh, that would never happen, and, and that's fatal. But you don't want to have the sense that Mary Beth, particularly, who is the guardian of her family, should have seen it coming at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's all about what we know and what we let ourselves see. For you, when you're writing it, do you feel like you're living this story, and how does that play a role in, in writing the novel? Yeah, you really have to feel like you're living inside the book, like you're in the house, like you're in the town, like you see it all. Um, because if you don't, then the reader won't. Um, and that can be really difficult. I mean, I kept saying to people, it's a good thing I can touch type, because there were moments when I was writing this book and just weeping um, because of what was going on in it. So it, it, it can be painful, but you know, at some level, if you're evoking the feelings in yourself while you're working on something, then I think you can be pretty confident that you'll evoke those same feelings in the reader. And I, I think that's what this process is all about. 